Well, I want to thank everyone for getting on tonight because I know you guys are probably we're all alike. Is to me, this is an exciting time of the year because um, we've been through a season. We've been watching our cut ups. We figured out why didn't we do this and why didn't we do that or we could do this or we could do that and all those type of things. And you know, we're waiting for spring ball because I think a lot of high schools now are getting started into their spring ball like we are here in about a week and a half. And uh, you know, I think my biggest emphasis because we're all probably alike is. You know, I've watched the NFL playoffs and all the bowl games, and I got eight million ideas in my in my head on there. We can run these routes and this this concepts, and we talk to people. But you know, I think you really have to guard yourself against that. There's a good place for that, but for me, when I hit this time of year, it's like I I start out like my kids don't know anything, and we don't. We're starting from square one. Um, it's like Nate and I were talking the other day when. Paul Brown, the Cleveland Browns, used to first day of camp every year with 15-year veterans. He taught them how to how to carry the football. Uh, and you know, Tiger Woods goes out, and when he starts for he starts the season, he breaks this thing down and starts from square one. So that's how I look at spring. Now we may accelerate a little bit quicker into some different things because of because you know we've got a little experience. But I know some of you guys are in your first year, second year of this. Uh, I just want everybody to be guarded about that. So. You know, I'm gonna. I just want to. I'm just gonna hit a couple things here real quick on these powerpoints, all right? And um, that, and then I'm gonna get right into Zorro, Detroit, a couple of those things, all right? Um, the the this is what my whole goal is this spring is to play faster than than we did before, all right? And to even start to to put a clock, you know, I want to get I want to get 24 plays run in eight minutes of a running clock. You know things like that, and like Nate and I have talked about, uh, it's a good idea to just just film, just turn the camera on if you if you're able to do that, and just film, film a a, a 24 minute team period, or a six minute or just a six play drive, and let the clock run all the way through uh, the camera run all the way through that drive, and now you can bring your kids in. I'm not saying you got to do that every day, but every now and then let that happen. So now you can bring your kids in and you can show them. You know where we're losing time on on handing the ball back to the official, or how we're getting lined up, or communication. All right, and I also think the same thing is 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 with our hand signals. All right, we want to become as more more and more efficient with that. We're going to try to keep it simple. All right, like I said, for us to practice at the tempo you want is so important. All right. Um, so so to me, what this is. This is a great opportunity when you start with your kids now, getting ready for the season. To me, this, the season starts for me uh, um, April 2nd. And my job is to convince our kids, all right, is that we're, we're winning the September, October, and November games in April and May. That's where we're winning the games. All right, so we've got to create that attitude in them that, that, that everything they do at this point is what's going to win us football games in the fall. And so that we've got to have great tempo. We've got to practice fast, play fast. We've got to play the next play. All the things that we try to sell in, sell in, in our offenses. All right. So let me go. Let me switch switch over from this, Doug. Okay. All right, and get right to B. All right. So so let's talk. So this this to me right here is is it's a little bit different because I think. You know, I'm going to adjust a little bit to personnel, not having maybe a, a Jonathan Franklin or a big tight end or whatever. All right, but but this is install one for us, and I just just decided yesterday that we're going to stay in install one for our first two practices. So basically, the install and the plays are going to remain the same. So I feel that we can go out, you know, and team walk through and get get installed down, and uh, and run it on the first practice. And I want to come out and call the same things. And I don't want to change anything for the guys, okay, on the second day of practice, because I, I think that the familiarity, you know, with plays breeds speed, and how quickly you can do things. And as as you can see, as we're we're still kind of in a two or three, you know, our run concept, which is Zorro Detroit Giants. I'm really good. I've really taken Giants, all right, which is which is for some of you guys out there, and, and we'll obviously can you know discuss this when some questions come up. But what I've done is I've taken Giants and Shark and combined them. All right, I had I had Giants, the Giants scheme, which is an attached tight end. All right, and very seldom ran it to an open tight end side. Well, now I want to be able to just combine the two plays of Shark and Giants, so I get rid of 
So it's just one play, right? It adjusts a little bit to the front, but it's one play. You know, our base, our base, our base concepts is caddy, which now I'm, I'm kind of. We were not a very good caddy team last year, and when we were good at it, it was play action. So, I'm, so caddy's a base play for us, and we're gonna we're gonna tie that more into our eight twelve eight thirteen or act stuff and our hustle. All right, Chevron is a mainstay for us because it's it's one of our it's our base it's our core route combinations that we kind of start to teach everything off of uh, Chevron and then they start to add the tags to that but just Chevron the first day plus it's also the concept that we tag a lot to our run game okay our Exxon dagger okay then obviously see our our those are our play action passes our pops and our locks and then our quick game our 90 95 and now I've added 91 as being one of our quick game throws all right because these are all three of these throws are throws that we attach to runs all right, so when we work in Skelly and we're throwing our quick game, we're also working the same throws we're going to throw when we call some of our runs. All right, the miscellaneous, we'll talk about that later. All right, uh, screens, Rose and Linda with the comments. Then you can see our protection. So it's a, it's a pretty bare bones install, uh, and I like that. I mean, I can get something done. The other thing I've done this spring, for some of you guys done this before, is you guys know I'm kind of a 25 to play, 30 play guy um, for each practice. Um, I'm not going to go over 25. I'm going to stay at 25, and what I'm going to do is not put any more than hopefully, all right, nine, a total of nine plays into any one personnel group. Now, there's going to be a lot of carryover from 10 to 20 personnel to, to 21 personnel, that type of stuff, all right, but the plays are going to stay the same, and I don't want to burden them with, with, with hey, we got, we got 18 plays and 10 personnel. All right, as, as I want them to know, hey, these are our, our, our plays out of 10 personnel that we can run extremely fast. All right, so we install one, our run concepts. And I'm going to jump around, jump around to some of these, all right, to some other cut-ups I've got. But I think the, the big thing on this is, let me see if I can do this. All right, the big thing here is when we're, when we're, co when we're coaching this is that as, as much – as much sameness as we can get with our offensive line here, all right, with these guys, as far as plays is what we're always striving for, all right. To me, the big coaching point on this thing here is going to be is always your backside tackle, all right, because as you can see, with the backside tackle, he is really not a zone tackle, okay. He is he is more of a uh, he's more of a power tackle or a well or a, a through tackle or a sip tackle or or whatever you want to call him. But his job is, and what they what they get anxious as is when this B gap defender right here is sitting right in the B gap like this, is they want to take off right now, all right, and they want to go attack that guy. Well, to me, all that does, and I'll go over this drawing. All that does is it shortens the edge so much for your quarterback and your back. Okay, so the big coaching point that we've got to get better at this spring. Okay, it's one of our main things is is that we is that this tackle, all right, he's got to have the ability to take a, take a power inside, six-inch inside step vertically, all right, then get his second foot on the ground, all right, and he wants to, all right, if possible, to, to create contact with that end, all right, because with the action of this back, this guy's natural instinct is to start here anyway, all right. I mean, I, I mean we're, we're, we're Assuming now he's not a dog backer, which if he dogs held, the tackle's got to see it and come off on it, all right? But he's going to start to flow with that flow of that back, all right? So this, so this tackle, he's trying to protect the mesh, so to speak, for all you wishbone guys, Nate, all right? He's trying to protect the mesh as much as, as, much as he can, and he does not really, all right, want to release to the B-gap defender if there's six in the box and tell the b until the B gap defender he feels all right starts to make a downhill move to him. Okay, so if this guy still wants to flow over the top, all right, we're still going to stay as long as we can because if that happens, I got money that says this ball's bending back into that gap. So that's the gap we're trying to create right there. All right, so you can see all 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 the drawings here. You know the reaches. Now when we get to a three technique to this side. Oh, I tell you what, let's do this. Let's let's jump. Here's my other thought for this this spring. Okay, 
obviously, if it's if it's a, a three down front, which I get these questions all the time, how do you, you know how do you handle a three down front? Okay, well, three down front is we're big on hats on hats, five on five right there. Okay, so to me, these two guys are the are our conflict backers, the Sam and the Will. Right? So you and your game plan, or you and how you set your motions, or how set, set your your formations, or whatever. All right, that these are the guys that you're worrying about, that you and this cat right here are worrying about. All right, how how do I put pressure on these guys? All right, either with with comets or key screens or or quick game or slants or whatever. All right, because these these guys basically end up being my reads or my keys. I'm sorry, my keys. Because you know these guys are getting five on five, hat on hat inside, all right? Well, the thought that, that we're going to look at this spring, so it'll be nice to maybe have a webinar after the spring. Nate, see if any of this shit worked, okay? Was excuse me, any of this stuff worked? That's all right. right? <laughs> is is we're gonna? I think we're gonna allow we're gonna allow our tackles on this because when it gets hard is when this end becomes a four I. All right, and a lot of your three down teams like to play that guy in a four eye. All right, so when he becomes a four eye, right, we're gonna we're gonna make a call. All right, you're gonna love this one, Nate. Okay, that's pretty good right there, guys. Okay, we're gonna make a call. Can you guys see this stuff, Nate? Wow. Huh? Can you see it? Yep. This is great. This is awesome. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yes, sir. Well, the play is Zorro. All right, so we're gonna allow our tackles to make a tanto call. You get it, Tonto, <laughs> Zorro. Okay. Anyway, I guess I'm the only one who appreciates that humor. All right. No, that's good. So, that's really good. Yeah. So, so the our end sitting in the. All right. Our end when he starts to play in that four eye, and you're asking this tackle. All right. To to and all it turns into is a big mush of people in here, and that back all and that back always ends up having to bend it back. All right. To the back side. Is he's going to allow me to make a tanto call right here, all right? Which is going to allow him on a four eye to outside release the end, all right, and just block the alley. Okay. Now I haven't worked out all the details of this yet, but I, but that would allow our quarterback now to know with a tanto call is he is truly reading the end. Okay. So now we're starting to talk a little midline option here, Nate. All right. Yep. So. You know, hopefully this end, his job is to keep hands on so that that widens that end and now we can give the ball because none of these guys are changing. So, so like always, we're just trying to look at ways how we can, how we can, you know what's so funny is we just thought about this like two days ago. I love it. Okay. All right. Now the next problem you got is when you got the three technique to that side. Okay. Well, obviously here's the A-gap defender right there. Okay. So what the guard now knows is this guard to this three technique treats that three technique right there the same way a tackle with nobody with no three technique treats an end. All right. So he takes the same exact footwork, inside six inch. All right. Vertical power step contact eyes on the uh, eyes on the wheel backer. All right. This is called a squeeze call. Okay. The tackle knows now that he is trying to step and overtake this block because at some point this thing is going to get released. Okay. Now he would do the same thing as a tackle would do. All right. Is if you're saying you're using some sort of tear motion or something, and the wheel backer was to move or to bump with your motion. Okay. Is now all he knows is when he's vertical and the wheel isn't attacking the B gap, but he's with the motion leaving, he can just sit down right there. And what usually happens is, is we end up with a double on the three technique. Okay? Now, there's no way that this end can run the hoop, all right, I feel, and get himself in position, okay, to stop the back. So it turns almost into a double. We just tell him to sit down, double on that three, all right, and then you know, the tackle, he'll learn that he can kind of, you know, sit, sit down. He knows what's happening, makes that end bubble, and now we can give the ball off, okay? So let's look at a couple plays here, or just Zorro. And I think that was the thing, I, I believe, Nate, was it's day one of install. All right, let's teach the basics, 
All right. Yep. Let's go back. Let's go back and not think about how we can throw. Which I listened to Coach Browning the other day. I'm sorry, Coach Browning the other day, and I mean that was an awesome job. And Bobby and Jack and those guys, and there's some neat stuff, okay, that you can do. But what was cool about listening to those guys talk was, all right, is they're talking about affecting the defense, okay, out here. Whoops, whoops, does a bad circle. Now they're ta they're talking like Patrick. He's talking about affecting the defense back out here, all right? Because we got a hat for a hat in here. We know our read. We know that's a squeeze call right there, all right? We know we're reading that. Now, like some, you know, like Drew was doing and Patrick were doing, okay? Now, to me, here's, here's the fun part. How am I game planning how they're, how they're are, are taking care of, you know, Comets? And now how are they taking care of 95 and how are they taking care of, you know, Patrick's seam route or the skinny route, you know, are they spinning the safety to stop that? Um, th to me, that's the game plan part of it because this is going to stay constant. We're going to run this play in here. We're going to run at Zorro. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so here, this is, okay, a couple things if you're just putting this in, okay, is I think that it's important. And that, now you got to remember, this is the first first game of the year for us last year, okay? But this is this is a pretty good job by by uh, Brett in the back is okay is his motion starts on ready okay we don't want to hold the snap count it's ready set hut okay where that ball is snapped to me is about perfect just a step outside the Zorro back right there okay now what he's thinking is I should be parallel to the line of scrimmage all right for five steps. All right, five steps, and I, the only thing I don't like about J.J. here is him just bowing it a little bit. I want him trying to out is to gain leverage as fast as he can on, on all these people. So all this stuff starts to happen, okay? Now, next time I come back and I, get, and I can see, well, that's how they're going to play the tear comet look, okay? Now let me tag tear 95 on this thing. Okay, because now he's trying to play the comet. He's still a high over the top guy, and now to me, here's the void. Okay, this guy's in, in conflict. All right, do I support that, or do I have to hang in here and stop this this stick wrap inside? Anyway, I kind of get on, off on tangents here, guys. Okay, next thing I I want all you guys to do is. Recruit real fast, guys. Okay, <laughs> they make you a lot better coach. All right. So, so this is a squeeze call. All right. And believe me, I mean th this kid right here, this kid right here, that is the school record rush for eighteen hundred yards. All right, twice more than he ever had in his career here. All right, probably be a first, second round draft pick. All right. This kid right here is a true freshman, set every school record on offense. All right, for a quarterback. Okay. True freshman, 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 sophomore. All right. And when I watch the cutups, I'm like, God dang, if we'd ever if we could just block a few people once in a while, we'd really have a good offense. All right. But because of the offense, it enables you, like we always talk about, you play with tempo, you get the ball out quickly, all right. Um, you get your guys in space, you get the Jonathan Franklin or the Jordan James in space or him in space, and you make these guys make tackles in the open field, not between the not between the tackles. So anyway, squeeze call right here. So he should be using the same footwork, all right, vertical. He knows this is his guy, okay? Obviously, this is whatever we call that thing. Those three got those three, okay? okay. He knows I've got to start because I, I possibly need to take this block over, okay? Brett knows this, okay? is if there's a three and a five to the Zorro side, to the side of the play, side you're running, it's really back side of the play because this is Zorro even, okay? But if there's a three and a five, this is called a read backer. I don't need to write that, but read, okay? This is called the key backer to him, all right? So the, 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 the key backer is who he, he throws his key screens or his 95s, his quick game, that's what he throws off of, this guy, 
Okay, this is who he reads. All right, so he knows in this look. Well, they're in a squeeze to the three technique like this. Okay, there is no key. He's strictly in a read on the end. So if the read flattens, I can pull the football. You guys still there? Yeah, we are, man. Very good. Okay. All right. So the only, here, here's the coaching points on this. Right guard. Okay. Issue here. Watch his, lead, watch his inside foot. Okay. Where should that foot be? Vertical. See how he's like he's, he's walking around that block? All right. He wants to be straight vertical with that inside foot. Don't position block this because all that's going to happen is exactly what happened. He's going to turn his shoulders back to the inside just like that. All right. Um, so he should be – are you guys hearing me all right? We're getting yeah. Buzzing. No, we hear you fine, Coach. Okay. All right. So he should be straight vertical inside – outside hand should be pressing the inside plate, all right, of that three technique with his eyes on 42, okay? You can see how 42 is playing. You don't have to be in a hurry, bro, all right? This whole thing is about let them go where go they want to go and then block them. All right, if he wants to go run through that A-gap, then just wash his, wash his butt over here to the right, okay? Simon, my, my little freshman tackle there, he's got to take a hard lead step, all right, to the play side number, all right, and he's got to try to, try to wash that guy down, all right? So now Brett's eyes, okay, so we got hats on hats right now, okay? So I give this like a C. C technique wise, but you can see this is here, all right? We should be displacing this over here and creating holes right here for our running back, all right? Brett's eyes are on 13, all right? Because he knows now there's six in the box. I'm strictly in a read mode. So Coach, are you, having, this, are you having the quarterback just look at the end? I mean, you haven't focused on anything special or just. Nope, just right there. Right there, right there when he sent the motion, all right, when he sent the motion and there's six in the box, because mm -hmm. what you don't want to happen is this, okay? If his eyes are going anyplace else at this time, right here, all right, if they're not on 13 and 13 decides, gets a wild hair up his butt and decides at the snap, he's going to go just blow up that mesh, all right, he'll mm -hmm. never see it. Okay, so he's got to have a, yeah. a zoom focus. He's got to focus on this. This guy's going to tell him everything he needs to do right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Now, J Jonathan, what he should be thinking right here is this. All right, you're running back. Okay, so what he should be thinking is, hey, I, I'm pressing the nearest defender to the center, okay, which happens to be this guy. All right. So he should be open, crossover, and he should think I'm starting to try to press this guy. All right? The reason for that is it gets all this working. Okay? It gets everything working this way, and that's what we want. So he should really press this, all right, and then be a running back. Don't overcoach him. All right? Don't tell him they should have hit that hole, hit this hole, or whatever. Just give him a track. Tell him who to press. All right? And then just let him be a running back. You know, where where are the hats? Where are the off-covered hats? Where are they not? Okay, so you can see him right here. His eyes are right there on his. His eyes are right here on ninety-two. That's who he feels he's pressing. All right, that makes forty-two do that. That makes forty-four do that. All right. The other thing is he's got to, why it's open crossover, all right, is he's got to try to get his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage, all right, because this ball can go anywhere at this point, okay, it could go here, all right, could go here, hell, it could bounce over here, it could come back, back here, I don't know if you guys can see my pointer. You know, he's got, he, you know, we, we got entry points, you know, four entry points for this guy at this point. All right. That's good coaching, that second part of the play. 
Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> we, we scored we scored like 27 points in seven plays on these guys. First seven plays of the game, I think. Okay. Okay, a little bit better. All right, we'll short see it from the end zone. Okay. Now we're just we're just talking about the Zorro part right now. All right, don't have an end zone on that one. But let me go back anyway. All right, because I think I think this is good. All right, you guys can see it from here. All right, is it okay? Six in the box. I mean, it's just it's just mathematics at some point, right? Whoops, it's just mathematics at some point here. Okay, six six in the box. If there's six in the box, I'm guessing post safety. Okay, don't matter to me. So post safety man, post safety zone. Okay, somebody's got to roll down. They got to play some sort of balanced defense, four-two nickel, whatever they want to play. All right, they got to get that, some sort of post safety look if they want to keep six in the box. If they keep six in the box and they stay split safeties like here, then then this key key throw ought to be coming out right now before the snap. Okay, all right. So in here, it looks like he's got a three technique. No, he's got an inside shade, so there's no squeeze call by the guard. So we know we're off on the mic, play side mic. Okay, with a double. All right. Next thing is. All right, is this backside tackle? He's vertical. Okay, don't be in a big rush. All right, when you feel this guy starts to trigger the back, all right, then you trigger him. All right, we're trying to hold this guy off as long as we can. Now, if you see the watch the left tackle here. Okay, what he he's he's pretty good right here. What he does is that right there is enough. See how you see the back of his numbers right there? Okay, he doesn't need to turn his shoulders at all, son. All right, just be a presence right there. Okay, um, obviously, um, Brett is in a is he's in a read mode right now because there's six in the box on him and he feels that everybody's covered. Okay, so he's in a read mode on that end, and he doesn't see the end closed because the end tackle does a good job of it, and he should give this, uh, give this, uh, give hand this ball off. But what Torian does is he does because he's athletic enough is when he releases that guy is have a chance to still get to the wheel backer. So I think the the mistake we used to make in the past is when we got six in the box and the in the shade to that side is we just zone the tackle to that inside backer. He, he could be slow to go, man. Inside, six-inch inside step, power outside step, get your hand on the bre inside breastplate, keep your shoulders square with your eyes on the wheel backer. When he triggers the back, you trigger him. Okay, this is a nice job by the play side guys. All right? This is a good job. All the center's trying to do here is displace. All right? He does a nice job. All right? He should keep his shoulders square. All he's trying to do with his right hand there is just shove that three technique, all right, to the outside of that guard, all right, because now he's releasing like the tackle is to the Mike Backer. Okay, real quick while we've got it. This is what I think, this is why, this is what I would do. Install one, you saw install one, okay? If I was going to, and on the second day I went to install one, or for you it may be the second, you know, you may go install one, install two, and say, shoot, the fifth practice, I'm going back to install one, all right? Because I want to call the same runs to these guys, and now maybe I want to start some of my, my motion, which I think is invaluable to the offense. I think it what separates it, okay? And so this right here is our F quick motion, trio right, F quick, okay? We're still running Zorro, okay? Here's the three down look, all right? Bang, 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 all right? The F quick motion, let me just show, tell you what you try to do that. Number one is 
you've got to convince this guy it's a full speed motion. It's full speed. And what he wants to do is be two yards by his alignment. This little metal freshman, he's, he's two yards. But when he crosses that, that quarterback, he wants to be two yards in front of that quarterback. Okay? And then he's got to be at full tilt because as, as he crosses that, all right, I'm going to allow him to bubble back, all right, to be at quarterback depth right there. The same place if I was in green, all right, and I went fast motion, my F would be if he went fast motion, all right? So he should be right there, okay? So that's the F quick motion. Also would like him to kind of flip his, flip his shoulders to us, but these young guys ain't figured that part out yet, okay? Okay, but that's that's not bad right there by Kenny. Okay. Okay, so they end up with six in the box. All right. Now, let me see if I got end zone on this one. This is off our this is off our, our install, so we'll draw all this stuff up. So six in the box tells us this, okay? Six in the box, whether it's a three down or a four down, six in the box tells us, okay, it is he's in read mode, okay? His first thought, my quarterback's first thought is this. As I send this motion, if there is no adjustment by anybody, in other words, if they don't bump this guy out or roll this guy down, somebody doesn't move with it, all right, FTF, all right, forget, forget, forget this, forget the back, okay, and it's a, a, right now we're throwing the comet throw, okay, so that's his first thought. His second thought is, all right, there's six in the box, so now I'm going to my read mode, okay, right here on this guy, all right, because these guys are all working that, and now he knows, all right, there's six in the box, he knows that he should be in the same inside step, outside step. He should be to the B-gap player, A-gap player right there. Okay, now, the tackle, I still don't like the angle he took, but he kind of feels that, that, that backer's triggering. Maybe he feels he's triggering that B-gap right there. All right, so he, he's got to go right now. All right, but what happens is, is that which he would have been all right if he had thrown this comet out there. I guess he kind of feel, he felt those uh, safety starting to roll a little bit. All right, so he said, heck with it, I'm in read. All right. But right here, if this end closes to him, all right, now he's back. Now he's truly in a, in a, in a throw-run mode, all right, between him and this guy. All right. Now you can see. All right, you can see where now some of that stuff that Patrick was doing, I'm kind of it's kind of cool stuff. All right, because now you know he starts running his his little three step fine grass slant, or he's talking about his skinnies or your pops. You know now when they start wanting to do this and close the end and he pulls it. All right, those are the throws we want on this thing. Okay, here it is for smash. Number one rule to a quarterback, all right? You feel you feel field smash? You feel field smash? Hand the damn ball off. Okay? I mean he can still look at I mean, that's what's crazy. If you look at this play, if he decides to throw the key on this, which he could, all right, but they got two cats out here. Okay, here's the next nearest guys. Okay, there's his key throw. All right, if he had decided to, hey, he's all right. I'm not going to argue with that. All right, but I kind of tell him that any time it's smash, this secondary is rolling away from him. You're always you're always good handing the ball off.
I mean, I like I like this little lookout. I mean, I kind of like that right there, don't you guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I like that look right there. Okay. Now, 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 if they want to start rolling that, you know, they want to do this stuff and start rolling the secondary down to it, or playing your hard corners, right? Now, that that's what I think the next step is, which which I'm not ready for. Now, if I'm calling 95 right here, okay, if I'm calling 95 instead of just always keys, okay, which to me it's almost 50-50 where I'm running just a stick route, the key two, and this, okay, or even just the seam route here, all right, and blocking this, is I've got a great opportunity, like you've been seeing with Drew and Patrick and a lot of these guys that run this stuff, of look at the space. Look at the space that this guy's got right there, and then the other the other one is in 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 throwing you know your backside slant routes to the backside. So this spring we're pretty much in fact we're going to work a lot on it because we're pretty much going to attach all right. Not as much, you know we'll still run our key stuff like this all right and in our quick stuff, but more of our pop and what we call bangs and things like that where these we're, we're trying to hit these guys running vertically down the field okay Detroit let's look at this this, this first unless you want to stop and answer any questions on Zorro Nate yeah uh, Doug hey, do we have any questions on Zorro oh uh, yeah we have quite a few questions right now yeah, you know, coach. You want to I do think that first. You want to do that first go back to, and then go to Detroit. Oh, I, yeah. I think we should. I mean, we wanted to do zone read tonight, so I think we should cover that for sure first. Okay, let's go. Okay. Uh, actually, Drew Gibbs had popped in early and, and threw a question up, but I'm not sure if it pertains. You guys will have to help me out on it. It says, guys, I've been uh, guys have been asking about the 91 route, which is tagged on a lot of plays in the new playbook. Can you diagram it for us? Yeah. Oh, Doug. Doug, wait till you see this thing that I got just for you guys. Uh, yeah, here's 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 what coaching is. Co coaching is the rule in coaching is because we all steal stuff from everybody. I've stole everything I got. There's a few there's a few original ideas I've had in my lifetime. All right. But all but the rule is all you have to do is change 10% and then you can claim it as yours. All right. See that? You like that, huh? Oh. Yeah, okay, so so if I was gonna if I was gonna throw ninety one and Drew, uh, what ninety one now is for us, and I, I can go, kind of go through all this stuff for you. Okay, it's key, all right, and it's inside fade, all right, a lot like Patrick's stuff, all right, and it's fine grass, take grass. So there's 91 for us right there. And so what, what I really like this for more, or not more, I mean, after all, we'll throw it out of this, okay, is that for, for one thing is, is that I always like to have these keys, this key screen by him on it, all right, is it for teams that, that want to play this to me, all right, and let's say you know I went you know I say I went F quick to it or I was in I was in trio or whatever it was here all right and they want to start to do and they want to start to play this on me all right for the keys they got to so they got to you got to figure out how are they going to support the keys okay well so now if they want to if this 91 starts getting called let me put it this way Nine, 91 hold on. Okay. Let me start over. Let me start over again for you. Okay. If we're split, if they're a split safety defense. Okay, and they're, they're trying to play like this: split safety, cover two, cover four, quarter, quarter, half. I don't really give a shit. Okay. Well, there's my conflict backer. Okay. If I'm running Zorro, I'm running Detroit, I'm running Giants, anything. You know, I'm I'm working to this, and here's their sixth defender. Okay, well, if he's in a box, then it turns to a read end. Okay, but a lot of my plays now, I'm basing the five like Giants, Detroit, those type of things. All right, now he becomes a conflict backer. Well, if they want to stay 
split safeties on me. Okay, now my game is 95. Okay, Chevron. It's a little bit deep. Chevron. This is where I'm trying to attack. Okay, and I'm trying to attack it now. Right it right in here. Okay, so that that would be 95. Okay, that's kind of where it all started at. Okay, well now teams, now now teams, they say, okay, well we're going to leave. We're going to leave these two backers in here, all right? All right, and now they're going to they're going to stop because I'm I got a chance to throw comets 95 and all that. Well, they're going to start start by playing three buzz to me, all right? Get the post safety so they can leave their six in the box because I've been gashing them with Detroit or Zorro or Giants, all right? Well, so now this is a guy that's got his button a crack. All right, so we still want to sell the key. Okay, it's kind of like the skinny thing that Patrick was doing. All right, but now we are throwing the verticals, so this guy's got to make a decision. All right, and that's not a very good drawing, their angles. All right, but now it's kind of like we're throwing, all right, two inside verticals on the strong safety. All right. Now, the reason for the keys on all this I think is good is, is is if my quarterback pulls it, his progression is is one or one off the safety now. Okay? If it's not there, we're throwing the key. Okay? Because we still have to deal with we're running giants or something and we're pulling guys and you know doing all those types. Although I haven't been called up on it in two years. All right. But I mean that but that's what we're gonna do. We're always gonna attach a, uh, some sort of an outlet throw for him on the keys. So that's 91. I hope that answered. I hope that answered answered your question. All right. Yeah, where it happens it more to us, Drew, where I really like it is when we get into some of our tight end. All right. Let's take this guy out of here. Okay. And put the T here. Sorry, I didn't draw enough. I didn't think I'd get this question. All right. But we're say we're fly motioning across and running giants or running Zorro right there is now 91 is built in on the back side of this so now his read instead of comment all the time because these guys are used to they see this motion and we love to throw comet out here and block these two guys and throw the swing well we've got to protect that all right and they're starting to roll spin a safety down to it all right and the key does this on giants is we want to be able to throw that vertical right down the field, kind of that capped, uncapped line of thinking. Looks All good, right. Coach. Looks real good. All right, the next question, it says, um, you had talked on previous webinars about the, the running back reading, I think he means the first, the running back reads the defensive tackle um, on Zorro. Can the running back cram it in the front side B gap if there's a one technique? To the play side call. Can he cram it in the one in the? Can he cram it in the? Let me see. In the, let me get a picture up here. Yep. This is that same one. Let's see what we got on this one. This is a common throw. I'm trying to find what he's what he's asking, Doug. No worries, coach. These are all we can go we we can go back and look through this cut up here in a second. All right. Let me find uh all right, this one will work. Cause I got in I, I moved this one, I got end zones, I think, on this one. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So he's he's saying what now? Ask the question one more time, Doug. Yeah, so he says um if the um the running back reads a defensive tackle. Um, can the running back cram it 
in the front side B gap if there's a one technique to the play side call. So this is what he's talking about. Here's a two eye or a one, a shade, two eye, right? About an A gap defender. Okay. He wants to know if you can just cram it right there. All right. Well, I don't know what he means by the by the by the phrase cram it. Okay. That, I, I don't I don't I don't know what that means. But if you just look at this, okay. Well, this is this is a pretty easy look for him right there. Okay. Because we're gonna double off to that. Okay. This is not a squeeze call, is it? This should be inside step, power, get your hand on it, release to this guy when he triggers the back. Okay? I would much rather this guy be blocked when he declares himself in the B gap and Big Simon right there can just put his, his top of his hat in this guy's ear hole and drive him that way and create a hole, create space right there. All right? What Jonathan should be doing here is, he should be thinking, okay, nearest. I'm going to press the nearest guy to the, to the nearest defender to the center. Well, they're both in two eyes, all right? So he's going to press the one closest to him right there. So he should be open, crossover, and he should be thinking because I tell you what, Jonathan, all right, that ball probably ain't going over here, okay? This is where this gap's going to be for you to go to right there, all right? So I want him to open crossover and start to press this gap because I want him to play into that gap so we can displace him and we can create as much space between him and him that we can. Okay, remember, guys, you don't have to move people off the ball. You can't allow penetration because that will kill zone, all right? And that's why you have giants in, all right, because they start penetrating. Now we're going to call a bunch of giants or draw or Detroit on their butts, all right? But all you want these guys to do is displace them. So if this guy decides I want to take the – if I'm going to get in this gap, you know, and I'm using proper footwork, and I can just run him down the line of scrimmage, man, that's beautiful. Okay? Same thing with him. All right? That's why you've got to be careful with these guys when they're working doubles that they don't turn their shoulders back into those three techniques or those two eyes. All right? Is that they're, they're always thinking, all right, play side step, power step, hand, on breastplate, all right, and staying on track because we want guys displaced. I right? want these guys moving, all right. He's also got to press that gap so we create this. So all these guys have to, I mean, the defense still has to maintain their gap integrity, all right. Well, their gap in, in, integrity on this for this defense right there is that's that guy's gap and that's that guy's gap. So as soon as he starts pressing the line of scrimmage, that's when these guys are going to start to declare, all right, okay. Coach says, I got the B-gap. We we're B-gap defenders. I better go in there and tackle this guy. So if I was grading this, okay, okay, the only thing I would tell Simon, all right, and this motion affects those guys a lot too, all right, is the only thing I would tell Simon is if you really look at this, is Simon, just freaking slow down, young man, okay? Take your trust your footwork, because this guy, if he comes back in here, if he if he if, if this end was not to close and give him a pull re, because there's six in the box, Brett's in a, in a pull in a pull row, pull, a read mode right now. All right, if you would trust it, you might hold this guy off enough. All right, that you can see Jonathan hits that crease. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. All right, and he's off to the, he's off to the races. He's off to the races right there. All right, because this is a guy we're reading. He can't tackle him and stop this guy at the same time. That's that's what we're betting on. All right. So as far as cramming it, I don't know. I I wouldn't say cram. I would say more press. All right, and I would never press a B gap. All right, I would always press an A gap on Zorro. Because I I got to get that defense flowing. I got to get them respecting their gaps. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a here's a great look at at Reed. Let me see what it looks like at the start. Okay, I think that I think that answered that question. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Yep. So here's the. Hey, um, does, it, does anybody have their hand up? 
Yeah, we'll jump on those in just a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through a couple. Oh, wait, of wait, wait. Go ahead. Yep. Okay, hold on. Let me get out of this. Get back in. Okay, you're on this thing too long. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And shoot me another question while we're while right. uploading this. How often is the key screen thrown into the boundary? A bunch. <laughs> is a bunch of is a bunch of, is a bunch of kind of a numerical number? Yeah, he's huh? he's happy. He's happy. That's with a it. lot. He, happy? he paid a big lot. money and he paid big money to ask that question. Yeah, he's he's, he's glad. Yeah, <laughs> I mean I can't tell you. It depends on what the defense is. Uh, you know, what what the defense is doing. All right. So, what is the quarterback keying pre-snap to decide if key screen is open or not? Okay, wait. I'm stopping you right here, okay? Okay, so here's here's Drew. If I don't know if you're still on Drew. Okay? But here's 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 91. Okay? So on ni on 91 right here, all right? Well, all we've done is added one guy to this blocking surface this guy. Okay? I mean, this could be trio, I don't care, or tray, or whatever you want. All right? But we're we're running. These guys know they're blocking Zorro on this, all right? Well, so here's your through tackle right there. Let me see if I can, let me see if there's a if this is end zone. There we go. Okay, so so you got 91 going here, all right? So we're we're gonna block Zorro. All right, so we all know we all know where we're going to, right? Actually, he's out. Uh, they're working to this. They're working to this. We want we're going to handle all this, okay? Um, I'll get into this a lot because these guys were a big edge pressure team, okay? Or or it's a big they're, they're a big three down team edge pressure, okay? So you know, basically that looks like a three down. I know this guy's over there, but you know that looks like to me that kind of looks like three down in the box right there. Okay, and they're a big edge pressure team. So at times I want to take pressure off of, of Hunley here, Brett. All right. So you know if you got that extra tackle or a tight end kid, this is where his his role falls in. Okay, is it? So now we can really protect the edge, or they're you know they like to bring pressure off the edge a bunch, and they're forcing us. You know they're always they're always forcing us to pull the ball, and you know I want these guys to carry the football. I don't want that guy to carry the football. All right. So if I play in a team like that. Then I'm going to have like probably a little four play or five play uh, package in out of maybe this is 12 personnel or or 11 personnel. Okay, I'm still running the same plays, my Zoros, my Giants, you know, all that kind of stuff. All right, but all this does is just ensures the edge so that we can run the or maybe it's four minute offense. You know, and you don't want your quarterback pulling it and throwing all your keys all the time and all that kind of garbage. All right, you just kind of want to go in and pound some people. All right. So anyway, that's why the tight ends jump in there. As long as I never change it for these guys, I'm happy for those five. Okay? They always want them doing the same thing. Only thing that they would get different here is a possible out call. That's it. Okay? He just tell him I'm going out. I'm going out to block this guy. That's all he tells him. Okay? This guy's still in the same mode. He should be bang bang. There's his guy. All right? Well, instead of keys out there, all right, gives these guys 91. All right? So now he knew, okay, he knew is, is now if this guy is, is good like with Giants especially, okay, if this guy will not respect that, all right, and he's, so he, he's thinking, okay, I'm going to start in 91, all right, I'm going to start with the key now. I know it, it's not a really a read look because we've got enough hats for everybody, okay, is if he doesn't respect this thing, I can pull this and throw my 91 out there. So, and what I tell him is, if he was to pull that, which he, you see how the will, the will's playing. That's a probably, that's not a bad job by Simon right there. Okay, but but because I, I can see him why he gave the football, All right? But if he was to pull that, and if he doesn't like this, because here they're trying to get the safety over the top. Okay, his his thought is, I'm throwing 
here, all right, right now to the key. Okay. Now, the thing I'm going to change is, is I'm going to go ahead and block this for the key on this. Okay. I'm going to be able to run 91, but I'm also be able, going to be able to run pop, where it's just him, and still block for my key out here. Okay. So this will be blocked like key. This will be blocked like, like key out here. So I've got key, I've got my pop working, where he's got that capped and uncapped rule that Patrick talked about, all right? And he knows now is now I can key this guy. So in his thoughts, this ain't no different if I widen him out and ran freaking 95 off that guy out of trio. All right, next question, Doug. You got it, Coach. Great job. I think I definitely answered everything. Um, so one of the questions we have here is, um, what is the quarter? So the one we just had, it's actually he's got a couple parts to it here. What is the quarterback keying pre-snap to decide if the key screen is open or not? So he asks if it's if he's looking at outside linebackers or defensive backs. And he also wants to know if it's if it depends on key one or two. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, I got two things right here. All right. This is a, this is nitro. All right, I'm going to go past this one. Yeah, this, this might answer his question. Okay, so and, and here, here's how I think you've got to treat these quarterbacks, all right? You've got to, I mean, I pick and choose when I dog cuss them, okay? And usually it takes a lot, all right? So I, I, I don't second guess them very much at all. We'll go in and watch film and say, hey, look at this, look at that. Maybe you could have done, you know, all this kind of stuff. But in the course of the game, I, 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 in practice, all right, whatever, if he threw the freaking comet out there and the back is running down the field and nobody touched him and the corner and the safety and the manager and the equipment guy are out, all out there tackling the comet, all right, hey, all right, play the next play, okay? Because if he, it's just a amount of you're not doing a lot of, you know, I mean, we're not running a lot of plays. To me, it's the more repetitions. He runs green tears or a lot, green tears or a lot, and he starts to really start to feel that play and understand what it's about and understand all the different looks he gets. So I give him some pretty basic rules because I don't want to cloud his mind because he's making pretty, you know, he's, he's making some, some snap judgments at times, some pre-snap pre and post-safety decisions, you know, in our run game. It's not just turn around and hand it off. So basically it looks like this, is we're going to be in tear motion out here, okay? Rule number one is if nobody freaking moves, you're never wrong if you just throw it to them right now, okay? So that's his first rule that he gets, all right? That doesn't mean he always does it, but that's the first thing I tell him. You're not going to be wrong. I will never be mad at you, okay? Because the way I look at it is I've added a guy out here, They've add, they've they've added that many guys out there, okay. So right now I've outnumbered them, and the game's about numbers and leverage, okay. So I'm not going to ever ever complain about that, okay. So if when I that's why I like the motions because I really think it helps your quarterback, okay. As I send this motion, and he sees any movement from within the box to that, okay. So the backer starts to run with him. All right. So now he's thinking. All right. I'm either in a. I'm in a key. I'm in a read mode. Okay. We're talking about motions here. I'm in a read mode now. Okay. Somebody moved out there. I'm thinking. I'm probably handing this thing off because I. I. They've. They've. They've added a guy out here, plus, but they've. They minus the guy in there. Okay. So that's what I want. Okay. And the third thing can happen is is they can add a guy to my motion from the secondary. Okay. So now he become and I and I said key and read. All right. So so let, let's let's back up because I want to make this clear because this is I think important. All right. Okay. I send motion. No movement. Let's get the ball out here. Because number one guys is you gotta prove to the defense that they have to stop that ball in this guy's hands out here 
with two blockers and they got nobody else. You gotta you gotta say you guys defense, you guys gotta do something, man. You gotta send another secondary guy out there, you gotta send a linebacker out there, you gotta call timeout, you gotta do something, all right, so I can run run my offense. If not, I'm gonna keep throwing it. Okay? Second thing that happens, okay, they decide, boom, I send this, and he they start moving from inside, okay? Now he's in a strictly a key, now he's in a key mode, okay. So now his eyes are on the backer. He knows I'm key mode because they could do this and trigger him. He could get right to there and stop whatever. All right. I'm thinking, hey, he's in a key. Can, is, this is my conflict backer. Is he going out here to stop this, or is he just kind of bouncing out and staying in there to stop the run? So now I'm in a key mode, okay. If they want to stop it with the secondary. However, they want to do it. All right. Now he knows. All right. Is that he's in a read mode on the end because they have not taken a backer out of the box to help themselves. They've adjusted the secondary to help themselves. Okay. They've probably gone to post safety or something. Now I know I'm in a read. So the thing he'll start to you'll start to learn is, or you'll start to realize is, now when you're in a read mode, and he closes to take the back like you saw against Rice, now that's when he's out here all by himself. He pulls it and he's out here. And I always teach my guy to, to look for the throw first. When he pulls it, run second. That's a pretty damn good diagram right there. All right. What do you got next, Doug? And he's coach. Oh, anyway, actually... Let's watch this. So here's, here's an example, Doug. Okay. So... They're, first of all, they're trying to get lined up. They're still over here, you know, they're still over here trying to get the defensive signals. They don't even have a three technique yet, okay? Snap's gone, all right? Ball's out, okay? That's what I want them to defend. You can't defend, you can't defend me like that, all right? Mm -hmm. Somebody has to come from in here out to here. Now all your stuff that that you've seen these other guys, you know, talk about is, you know, now you're throwing the back, now, shit, throw a backside slant on them right there, okay? Now you're throwing your, your, your 95, now you're throwing your seam routes, all right? Or your skinnies, what, you know, some of the other guys talked about, all right? Now, now, you, now, now you're throwing Chevron or you're throwing Caddy off of this play action like this, all right? Now you've got them defending you, all right? And I'm... And I'm getting and I'm getting thirty texts from guys around the country going, Noel's got ice in his veins to throw <laughs> the ball from his own end zone out there like that. Hey, it's your offense, man. You don't want you if you're afraid to do it, don't put it in. Right? <laughs> yeah. Actually actually if you watch this, this was a this was uh we're down let me see where we're at here. We're down seven. All right. This was actually uh, a nitro. This was a double call. Yep. So what I told him was, we, this was a, a thing that I really liked because we had like our little, little like um, you know, like Coach Browning had with his uh, with his cards and stuff, you know, his his poster boards and those type things. So we we you know he gets see the one poster board of whatever the signal was. Right? He knew it was a double call. So on this, all, he, all what he knew was, hey, I'm running. Whoops. Uh, hey, I'm going as fast as I can right now, all right? And all the guys know he double calls this as I'm running. And, and what happened here is the back forgot to go in motion, all right? But this was this was supposed to, this was fast. It was fast Zorro, then tear Zorro. So right here, he hard count him. He told them all right here, hey, it's Zorro Nitro, all right? This was the first call, which he would have been fine right there. Look at if he would have pulled this one and thrown it. Oh man, that'd have been awesome, you know. Yeah. Hey, because it's what we what's what we preach, right? What do we preach? Ball in my guy's hand, in space, one on one. Okay. Now, to me, if he misses the tackle, that's a big play. Mm -hmm. Maybe touchdown. I don't know if it's touchdown, but it's a big play. Yep. Okay. So that was that was the first one, and then he lined them up real quick. That was the second play right there. So, 
So yeah, it worked out pretty good that time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Coach, we're just going to stay on Zorro tonight. We're going to go about five or ten more minutes with the questions. Okay. Hey, this is a good one right here, guys. All right, here's fast. The snap was bad, so it was hard on uh, Brett right there. Okay. Here's the fast motion. Okay. Remember, I said these guys were big three down edge pressure team. All right. And I always said, man, you get two off an edge, hand the ball off. So this is a little bit better job by the tackle. He still hasn't got it down yet. You'd think by now, sixth game, fifth game, he would. Okay. But so. Right here, the, what what we got to do better is the tackle. We know it's here, 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 here. All right. He knows his backer is on the line of scrimmage out here. Okay. So he should just be bang, bang, and just be putting his hand on this guy and just holding him off. All right. And if this guy was the full back, all right, release the end because the ball's already past the end by this point. All right. Release the end and climb and try to get your hat, hat on the wheel. Not a very good job by left, left uh, you know, could do a better job by left guard right there. But, you know, you got a chance right there for at least right there for hats on hats. If, if, if my guys, you know, sometimes they don't always block them, guys. We all know that. But if they can get this. Good job of displacing that. Okay, if we can get this in a, in a, and I mean, look at that freaking grass in there. All right, now you could have done a little bit better job. Let's coach you up. All right, you you could have, if you would have kept your shoulder square, you'd have ended up on that guy right there. I promise. All right, but man, if I do this enough times in a game, all right, that cat right there is going to make some big plays for me. See if if our left tackle would have. Not done that. Just, I mean, he's done. He ain't, he ain't tackling anybody. Forty-three. Now just climb to number eight right there. Climb to eight. Get a hat on him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay. Split safety. Okay. Split split safety. They still want to play six in the box on me. But it's split safety. They haven't shown me three buzz yet. Okay, they're saying they want to stay split safeties, but we've been running the ball pretty good on them. Okay, so we're running Zorro or Giants over here. Okay, which would really be good here would be Giants, but we're not talking Giants. Nate doesn't want to talk Giants. Okay, not tonight. Not tonight. <laughs> All right. So now we're tagging at ninety-five. You know, 95, I mean, whatever. There's other things you do. That's just kind of a base base, base way, okay? All right, so this is the one I always get to. All right, this is the one I always get from the old line coach. Okay, why don't you hand that ball off, Noel? You know? Why don't you hand, hand this ball off and little Figgy right here is freaking running down the, down, down the field one-on-one -on -one with number four right there. Hey, that's what he decided, man. That's what, I mean, he's playing the game, not me. You know, that's what he saw. He saw six in the box and a guy out, uncovered out there. This is better. This is getting better by him, Okay. See, see, it's finally taking that little six-inch step and trying to go vertical, and that's what you, that's what you want. Don't turn, don't right there. Hand help. That's good. That's all you got to do. Hand help right there. All right. And that's a pretty good job. But you know, I love it. I love it when 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 you look at this thing and you say, okay, it's hat on a hat. Yeah. Could we be a lot better in our technique and where we're putting our hats and well, that's the old line coach's job, okay? But I know the scheme is working, okay? Hat on a hat, okay? There's lots of space in here, guys. Here's your conflict. Here's the read guy. Okay, that guy's in conflict. Is he going to go to the quarterback? Is he going to close to the back? Is he going to try to, I don't know what he's going to do, all right? So that's what we're playing the game off of.
There you go. Okay. This was that. This was actually the the. This is actually the next play after that first 91 I showed Drew. Okay, now he should have thrown this. He should have thrown this right there. I mean, that, I don't think that's a great route by Joe. I mean, Joe ought to be hard. I mean, I mean, please. What does Chad Johnson say? Child, please. All right? <laughs> I mean, I mean who's, who's stopping that? You know, who's stopping this right there, okay? Well, that defense ain't, okay? And he got, he got, he thought he was kind of clever, all right? And he, he was, he saw this the time before and was trying to pump a guy onto him and go to this guy. But let's see it from the end zone here. Okay, here's the out call. All right, that my freshman tight end. I mean, that, that's why I'm so excited about this year, guys. All right, and this picture right there, all right, is true freshman, freshman, sophomore, freshman, freshman, freshman. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six in that picture of nine there are, are freshmen. All right, so I think this spring, man, they should have such a better understanding of it, of just keep doing the same stuff. But this is what I talked about before. He sees threat. This is why I put him there, all right, is out, 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 out. Tell that tackle, out, out, out. I don't want that to happen. Out, out, here, here, all right? Squeeze, okay? Read. So my, you know, the tackle knew what to do, but my other cat didn't know what to do. Is this good, Nate? Just going through these plays? Yeah, no, this is great. Let's just, yeah, no, this has been great. Let's we better do, do some, que we better do do some questions. questions if there are. We'll do a couple more, couple more questions because we're going to have to wrap it up in about seven minutes. Yeah, let me try and get oh, some really? on here. I've got a, uh, yeah, we've got a couple more minutes. Um, we've got a coach, Coach Van Dyke here. Coach, are you there? We're trying it. Coach Van Dyke, this is your chance to be, uh, be famous. Nope. Okay. So we'll uh, we'll jump to another question here real quick. So uh, wide receiver. Hey one. guys, so yeah. see, I want to show you guys this one though. Since you got no questions, okay. <laughs> so big big three big three three team, right? Okay. So here's what I was talking about, Tonto, Tonto. All right. So this guy's a true four eye right there. So let's make him the read. Okay. Let's go ahead and zone to all these cats over here. And I don't even know what they're doing. I don't really care. Okay? But now let's let's outside release him to the alley. Okay? Let's outside release to the alley and throw our key. Oh shit. Am I okay? I love that. Fine. That's got a chance. All right, no questions, Doug? Yeah, no, we got a couple of questions here. Okay. So what, are, what are the wide receiver rules for key one, two, and three? For key one, two, and three. That's what they say. Bam. Let me. I'll just draw them. How's that? Sounds good. Because I could. I could go to the install and show you. Okay. Here's a. Here's our rules. Okay. If I was. Let's, well, you want to start? Let's start in trio. That's easy. Okay. So if I'm throwing key one. Let's start with key three. Okay. If I'm throwing key three. F quick. These are all the same. F quick or tear. Okay, we're all we're, on all of these. We're running Zorro back there. Okay, so this is kind of a base. So all three of those things are exactly the same. 
All right, now you know how they say exactly the same but not quite. That's those. Okay, so anything that's coming. So those would be key three to him or comet. Okay, what comet means is this. Okay, and why we call them key key screens? All right, key key screens tell that just that tells us is that we're throwing these things off a backer. Okay, we're key. That's our key. Remember, we talked about him being our key, our guy in conflict. All right, so he's the key backer. So he tells me, do I hand it off or I throw the key, or the key screen off there, off our key? Okay. All comet tells everybody because I know I know Nate said some of this. You know, it's like guys are just starting to put this in. Comet just tells everybody is it it's some sort of a motion, whether it's tear, quick, ghost. All right free, whatever, it's there's some kind of a motion coming to two receivers out here, all right, that tell that tells that tells them that that somebody's coming, all right, I need to block, all right, from the bubble, from the old bubble screen. And so it's all common. That's all comment means. Okay? Because these guys you're in duel and they look up and, you know, they see key three and they look inside and they say, shit, there ain't no free. Maybe the quarterback screwed up. They see Comet, they know, hey, all we know is we're blocking. Somebody's coming out here, we're going to go block for them. All right? All right, so they got three rules. Okay, rule number one is seven yards or deeper. Seven yards or deeper, okay? He's in double mode. He's thinking, I'm doubling. Okay, so what he's really thinking here is that, as say, let's just say it's a sandbacker, okay? The Sam Backer and he and this wife feels like I can get him. All right. Well, when he comes off, and that's why we'll take a lot of our key, our key screen, our keys. All right. Is we take the same splits a lot as our chevron, our snag game. All right. Because we tighten our splits and our and our snags and all that. All right. So what he's thinking is he's coming off. He's coming off thinking I'm going to help this guy until he triggers. And if it ends up that this ends up in a double and it's a one-on-one -on -one with him and this guy backpedaling and coming off the, from seven yards, then I'm happy, okay, because we have to get the play started, all right? We can't allow this guy at the snap to just freaking do that, all right, and just blow this stuff up. So he's thinking corner off, I'm, my first thought is double, okay? With my, so I'm going to come down in there, eyes on the corner. All right, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to try to help my partner as much as I can. All right, when that corner triggers, all right, when he sees the throw and triggers, now you come off and you just try to run this guy out of bounds. Okay, so that's that's thought number one. Okay, next thought is he, he has an off corner. Okay, and this guy's outside leverage. So this guy's thinking, man, Double's not that great because if he does that, you know, I, I can't help him out, all right? So now he would just look out there and tell that, that Z, hey, cab, okay? So he's saying, hey, look, man, you freaking block him, all right? So now he knows he's in a, he's in a straight crack mode. He's going to crack the, strong, the Sam or strong safety who's ever out there. He's coming right now to crack him, and I'm, I'm arcing behind him, all right, and now I'm going to the corner. So that's a cab look. Got it. Okay, last mm -hmm. one is corner up, Sam out, all right, they both know this is man. Bro, I can't help you. This guy's inside seven. I'm going right now, okay? You got to – my inside receiver – Coach calls this an ooze block, all right, is, is, is they come out and they actually ooze off, all right, they can't get beat here, they ooze off because we're looking for leverage. Now, the next thing you really want to, that, that's hard, that, that, that I think helps these guys is, is that, and I know I just said ooze block, all right, but as we tell them, all right, is to, is to get head up to your block. Obviously, I just said ooze, all right. But when you're blocking these guys and you're trying to get in position 
because you're expecting him to come to you, is why it oozes, all right, is you want to get head up on these guys, and what you want to do is let make him declare a side and then run him to the side he declared. Okay, what you don't want to do is have your guys think, oh, well, the ball's coming out here, all right, I'm going to try to come out here and block his outside number and give him, and give the running back the sideline. Uh, -uh. all right. It's a lot easier on these guys when you tell them just close the cushion, sit in a chair, shoot the hands, try to get head up on him, all right? Fit your hands inside on that guy, and at some point he's going to try to get off your block. I don't know if he's going to go inside or outside of you, bro, but he's going to, okay? When he starts to do that, all right, don't grab him. Just start running your feet and just run him wherever he wants to go. The same thing we teach our line. All right, displace him. All right, take him where he wants to go and just keep your hat on him as long as you can. Okay, so that's that's that would be that would be all the three man, you know, comet key three stuff. Okay, now what you got to remember in all that is when you build your locks and your play actions is you want some of those, you know, and some of those, you know, when you're doing all this stuff. All right to help protect these guys so that corner knows when he when I come up and settle on that guy, I may run by you, all right, and we may throw him, you the football. So you just can't come run up here like, you know, you just stole something and just knock the hell out of my receivers. They have to respect our ability to throw the ball down the field. Okay, into the two-man side. Okay, over here. Oh, wait, let me go back over here, all right. So key one, I'm probably taking too long on this. Okay, key one. Okay, same thing. He always has number one. Okay, he's got. So here he's thinking corner. Remember these splits are a little tighter. He's always thinking I've got number two. All right. So all they do is they look out and says I got one, I got two. If number two is seven yards. Are more off, all right? What do you think Y could say? Double, right? Just like he would. I double. So that means I can come off and help my F, all right, for as long as I can, all right, and then I release when he triggers. All right? So once again, hence 91. All right, protect key one. With 91. All right, let me see. I did one, two. Uh, key two, same thing. Key two, I've got number one. I've got number two. You've got the same rules, bro. He's off. Come down in here thinking you may help. You may have to help on this double, if not up. Does that happen? It happens sometimes. They roll safety down or whatever, and we'll get a double on a safety rolling down on the key two and release them. But... But they all they all got the same rules. It's just we're throwing it to different guys. The other thing is we want the throw to be the same spot. Okay? So a key two guy, we want him to attack one, two steps like he's running to the flat. All right? Like he's running to the flat. And then we want him to back into the route, all right, and be the same place, the same angle for the quarterback's throw as a shit. <laughs> okay, well, hang on one second. <clears throat> hey, no, you got darker there. Yeah, you did. You, you like that, Coach? Because <laughs> originally you were presenting, so I had it all set up for you, and then they, they changed it up on me, and certain pieces didn't change. So Noel is uh, Noel's trying to come of age and, uh, and uh, get a tan. So he's been laying in the bed. <laughs> Let's see if it'll change him. Yeah, it's not going to change back to him. It looks like he cut out on us. We'll give him a second, see if he pops back in. Coach Costa, how you doing? Pretty good, and you? Doing well, Coach. Doing well. Here, I'm trying to be a head coach. Yeah. Give me one second, everybody.
All right. Co uh, coach has called in. He said it dumped him somehow. So he's going to jump right back on. We're going to answer, answer one last question, and then we'll uh, – move on out for the night, but it's been good so far. I hope everybody's enjoying. Bobby, what do you think? It's very good. Yeah, this is pretty solid stuff. Very good. Yep. Is Nate still up? Uh, he is. Uh, no, Nate just jumped out. He is actually with his folks right now celebrating his dad's birthday. So he was nice. just got out about five minutes ago. A second here, and then pop back in. Mm. Hey, Coach Warnovich, I think you're there. Hey, Coach, yes, Warnovich, you're there. Okay, we're we're gonna bring you on for a question in just a second. Okay, I just want to prep you to see if you're ready. So as soon as Coach gets back on, I'm gonna have you come in and ask you Thanks, a question. Coach. All right, no worries. Hang on Thank one you. second for me. <clears throat> Nothing like mixing technology and football coaches. <laughs> so, how, you guys getting prepped up, Coach Acosta, for, for ball? Yeah, we're right around the corner. We start Sunday. Awesome. And this is what we're talking about today, our key screens with our Zorro. That's cool. How's your class looking? How's the what? How's your class looking? You got some big kids? How are they... Yeah, we got our best lineman today, so we're pretty excited. 6'5", 255. Wow, where'd he tackle come from? run. Where'd he come from? Uh, Delray, New Jersey. Wow. So New Jersey's being good for us right now. We actually took a kid from Arizona. Hopefully when I, I go visit Noel, we'll get some kids from California. Yeah, it sounds like there's, from what I've heard from a bunch of coaches, there's like an exodus for spring ball out there this year. Everybody's going out to visit. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a good time. All right, we'll give him just another minute. We'll see how he does, and then we'll uh, make a decision on what to do here. Hello? Hello? There's only... Hey, hey you can hear me? Yeah, we I can hear you. Now, it's Cody. Bobby. Sorry, guys. I don't know what happened. No worries. This stuff happened. So UCLA we're... didn't pay their power bill, I guess. <laughs> so we're gonna we're actually going to bring on one of one of the coaches that's on the line tonight to ask this question. Hang on one second. Coach Warnovich, right. you, you there, Coach Warnovich? Yes, sir. All right, why don't you go ahead and pose your question yeah, to I got you, Coach. Cool. Why don't you go ahead and pose your question to Coach Mazzoni? Hey, hey, you going to give me the the screen, Doug? I'm doing it right now. I just now. want to talk. Yep, I'll get right back to you right now. All you got to do is click show your screen. Okay. There you go. You're up, Coach. Hey, uh, Coach Mazzoni, how you doing? Great, Coach. How you doing? Good. Hey, uh, I, you've been talking a lot about your, your Zorro, your inside zone. And uh, some other guys in the past couple weeks have been talking about the pops, and you know I've been watching a lot of these with you guys, and, and I really like what you're doing. I guess my question is, I'm I'm a simpleton coach, and, and I'd like you to really teach me in the simplest manner. You know, if you want the quarterback to throw the pop off the zone, whatever pop you're you're tagging in particular, backside slant, or even that last formation where you had uh, tight end trips, um, you had the tight end down the seam, number two uh, release and vertically as well. Is he meshing? Is the quarterback actually meshing with the tailback? Um, is he coming off of that, saying, "Hey, it's open. I'm going to throw it." Like, what's what's his thought process? We've we've been a okay, bubble so team. Start, so start start here, okay? And then, can you see this right here? Yeah, we can see it, coach. All right, you have to start like this. Here's 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 the base way. All right, um, let me do it this way. Okay, 
So say we have tagged this out here, key two. Okay. All right. We tagged this key two. So that means he's going to run the key. Okay. That means he's blocking for the key. Okay. Now he's what he's what we call an MDM guy. So he you know he may have to crack a safety if they roll it down whatever, but he knows he's blocking. All right, we're trying to get this guy one on one with somebody out here. Okay. So. So as a quarterback, and I, and I think this is where you start. This is where it all started from, okay? As a quarterback, all right, and here's the will backer sitting right there, okay? General rule is this, all right? General rule is, well, I know that I've controlled, that i got a hat for a hat for these guys, okay? So this this guy becomes my key backer, right there. All right. Now for a quarterback, okay, he's got a, he's got a couple ways he can. He, I mean, he kind of starts like this. He says, "Look, can I?" Like I said, pre-snap and post-snap. He PSLs. All right. If this will backer, he's the B gap defender. Okay. If he was if. if you know, to that quarterback, if he feels that he's an immediate threat, all right, and we're, we're in split safeties, we're starting in split safeties, immediate threat to that B gap, then there would be no mesh. I teach them, hey, let's make this guy go tackle that guy a couple times. So all you do at the snap, even though everybody else is running Zorro right here, okay, at the snap, you should be, and you'll see Brett, and you know, you know they do it enough that they'll, They'll, they'll turn and it's almost like a little flash fake or something, but he knows right now is that he's throwing this. He's making this will run out here and tackle this guy. Okay? So we're trying to force this will to widen. We're trying to force the defense to show us how you're going to stop it. Well, if you're going to widen it, all right, now this tackle's got an easy job and we should be able to run the ball because remember, guys, the whole gist of the offense is to get a hat on a hat inside and to make – is, is to try to force them into a five-man box so that we can run the football, okay, our Giants, our draw, or Zorro, all right? Now, if this guy's kind of in that la-la land for the quarterback, in other words, he didn't have, like, man, it was open out there, Coach. I don't know if you remember seeing a few clips ago where the guy was just uncovered, all right? Hey, just take it and throw it to him. Nobody's moved out of the box to cover this guy, all right? Now, he, will, he knows he's in a key. He's not worrying about the end. He's reading the key. Okay? So is this Will Backer sitting here like this? Okay? Is it, as he'll, he'll mesh with this back. All right? And his eyes, remember, he's in a key mode, not a read mode. His eyes are right on the key. All right? If he feels that this Will Backer is firing the A gap or firing the B gap, all right, now he will pull the ball and throw the key. All right. So once your guys start feeling that, okay. Well, we don't always want this guy to be. You know, now you start talking about pops and all that kind of stuff. Okay. So what you're doing is you're always popping, all right, or key. You know, you're you're throwing your pops or your keys off your conflict guy right here. Okay. Is he stopping the run or is he stopping the pass? So now as you grow with this thing, well, maybe they're, all, maybe they're, they're saying, okay, well, we're going to play him in there, all right, and we're going to start to roll this safety and run this safety to the key right there. So now it's going to say, okay, well, let me start popping the secondary guys, all right, the back end guys. So maybe, maybe instead of the key, now I'm going to show the key, but I'm going to attach that fine grass slant right here. Okay, so he he still the quarterback's still in the same mode. He's here. If that if this guy plays the key, hand it off. If this conflict guy starts to play the back, just like option football, if he starts to play the back and I pull it, all right, I pull it because remember the end's getting blocked. All right, he's getting held off by this guy, and then I pull it on this. And this is how they're starting. They want to now stop the keys. Hey, now I'm throwing this for big plays. All right. So, you know, it's just it's the the 
what you got to do is decide how do you want to attack all right your con your your backer that's in conflict like we saw the one on film you know they wanted to play us split safeties because remember we're in four wide receiver offense right and I always get this question well man they just they just come up and they press my outside guys and they play post safety and leave six in the box. Shit, that's awesome. All right. Now, if you if you got don't have any receivers, if all your receivers suck, I don't care what offenses you're in. You know, I mean, it's four offense, uh, four wide offense. All right. But but I mean, I mean to me that's so easy for the quarterback. He's in a read mode. If the end closes, he pulls. All right. Now I'm throwing my my pops or my slants and all that stuff first to man coverage because I know that I know the safety's having to go chase the keys up here. All right. But anyway, back to my original thought. Okay. So right here we're throwing start with 95. Okay. Same thing. There's the conflict. Okay. Is he playing the back? The back's here. Is he playing the back, all right, or is he going to play the 95, okay? <clears throat> what the pops and like what uh, what Patrick was doing, which I thought was pretty cool is, all right, is now you're taking it to the next level. Instead of just throwing all this little five-yard shit, all right, your little key screens, and your little stick routes, and your little hitches, and those type of things, 95, all right, now you go into the bangs and the pops and the seams is where like 91, now I'm running this guy to those uncovered spots, all right? Uncovered spots out here, however you're doing it, you know, or 91, all right? But I'm still showing them the key. So when they game plan you that week, they're saying, okay, we've got to stop this run, but we've got to have a, a plan to keep so they don't, so they don't just throw these, these receiver screens out here all the time, all right? But you got to come, you know. But we got to, we got to pick in that safety, man. You got to, you got to, you got to hit that hard, or or whatever it is, or on the weak side, you know. Safety, you got to, you got to really be the option guy. You got to come down and hit this thing hard on this thing. Hey, okay. well now the next avenue is let's throw this thing going vertical, all right, down the field, on them. So that's the pop part of it. Okay, the outside part of it is what we didn't even get to that. All right, is when I show keys here. Keys here, and now we're now. This is the bang part of it. All right, corners off, find the grass. Corner press, run the fade. All right. So these are ways that, that that you take shots or you get the ball vertically down the field in your in your in your Zorro or Giants or Detroit, whatever run you're going to do. So how I think how it hits my brain. I don't know. I'm not that smart. And I'm I'm very simple too, Coach. Honest, I, I love it simple. Okay, is I think of it this way. I think of it. Here's my run. That's that's one part of the play. What am I running with these guys? Is it Giants? Is it Draw? Is it Zorro? Um, you know, whatever. We're just talking one back right now. Okay. Now the next part of my play is. All right. So this is. Or this guy. Okay, so this is the box. Okay, so however I'm blocking the box, all right. I only got five blockers. Okay, now that how are they defending the box? Okay, part two is how are they defending the perimeter? Okay. It's not like the old days when you called a run and you guys would all go block somebody, you know, go block the safety, go block the corner, go block the corner, you know. Okay. Now it's, hey, what are we doing out here, 95, all right, Comet or Key 3, all right, Locks, all right, Pops, 91, okay, Bangs. So. So I want them to know how how are you defend I want to know how are they defending this out here too. Okay? 
because they've got to decide, are they going to help this part of the play with somebody from the box or somebody from the secondary? And once I figure that out, all right, now I know what now I know what I'm going to out there. What am I calling? Am I calling 91s? Am I calling if they're going to stay freaking split safeties on me all day, all right, and try to keep six in the box? I'm throwing freaking sticks and I'm throwing 91s all day off my run game. Now, did that answer your question? Yeah, coach. Let me unmute him real quick. Hello. Hey, coach. Did I answer your question for you? Yes, coach. That was coach. That was great. That's coach. That was great. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, I appreciate everybody coming on tonight, Coach. I'm gonna have to cut it. We're uh, we're pushing almost 11 o'clock here. So, listen, that was that was that was amazing, Coach. Thanks for breaking it down the way you did and going through. The feedback is incredible. We do have a bunch of questions in there, but what I'll do is I'll package those up and we'll we'll get those answered for everybody um, in the coming couple of days. I just hope I lived up to Nate's standards because I know they're very high. We we put you on a big pedestal around here, Coach. So you're, <laughs> you're living up to it. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't no, even I, get to. I didn't even get the Giants or draw or two three man snag. We should do this again next week. Let, we'll we'll have you back. There's no problem having you back, Coach. I'm so I get you. I get invited back on this. You do. We'll make it into a series, and you're gonna have to co you'll have to co uh, compete with Coach Peavy. He likes to to get in here every week too. <laughs> well, that's because Coach Peavy loves to talk. Does he? <laughs> hey, and if you notice, I don't really talk much about. Uh, offensive line techniques and all that stuff because because PV knows all that stuff I just I just know when they got hats on the right guys that's all I want I'll handle the rest of the guys exactly exactly we actually did have a uh, probably about 10 questions in here about blocking assignments when I'm pretty sure I answer everybody back I usually tell everybody that coach PV will chime in and, and send an email to them and give them greater detail for sure because I do realize that one but we will we'll have you back out we'll finish out these next two sections and we'll make this into a whole series and I think it'll be It'll be good, really good. So, all right. Is Nate, is Nate still there, or did he go to bed? He he jumped off. He's actually out with his folks right now. So he it's his dad's birthday. So they're out for birthday oh, okay. dinner right now. All right. All right. Well, hey, hey, I'm, I'm, I, I tell you too, is I'm on.